Hey guys, Titanic 1912 here, and today I've got for you a review of LEGO Star Wars at 75278. Dio. This set? Not really. East August 15th, 2020. Retailing for $70. Contains 519 pieces and one lone figure. That being Dio himself. This set contains a, a UCS style black. But it's not a UCS flag. And it also contains the very big and also slightly difficult to build build of Dio. The front of the box shows off Dio and his little stand. Oh. And a planet, I'm not sure. I'm not really versed in sequel trilogy planets. Side box art shows Dio again. Top box art show of the actual size of the Dio figure. And back of the box just shows off of Dio. I mean, it's entirely. Shows off his height. Height and how his head can turn and all that. Yeah. The actual build of Dio is a fairly nice one. It's got this little stand, which it can't be removed from. The way they did the wheel was a really interesting and very nice technique, but... Very frustrating to build, and the head can swivel just by turning this little knob thing on the side. Back of the head has some very nice details. The flex tube it works very well for the detail of the, well, tubes. <laughs> and the sides of the wheels are actually very nicely done. This uh, at retire on right, July 20th, I believe, of 2021. The lone figure you get in this set, being Dio, is a very e okay. It's got all the little tiny details printed on it. It's got Dio's head, but eh, overall. Oh, when you compare it to the actual Dio build, it's not that good. And the, the UCS style display plaque show was the model, the droid, the affiliation, his primary associate, his primary function, and his height. You can pause the video to read all of that. And just above my my finger. And so So what what's my opinion on this set? Well, it's a bit overpriced at $70, but if you can pick it up for uh, 50 40 or 50 on eBay, then, then I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Well, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.